afternoon. It's a deal for Zalhe, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, end of day European session for Wednesday, the 24th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand? Let's uh, let's quickly have a review. Asian markets overnight. Initially, they were weak with the Moody's downgrade of China uh, until they reversed sharply towards the end of the session when the Chinese certainly uh, negated that uh, uh, bearish argument altogether. Uh, the Nikkei certainly finished up 130 points as well. Um, now, let's look at the actual Chinese market because the Chinese market is quite, quite important. The Nikkei itself certainly coming into gap fill resistance, so watch out there. In terms of the Shanghai, let's just bring that up for you as well. Daily Shanghai certainly bouncing off support, even with the uh, potential Moody's downgrade. So we'll see basically if that can continue and the rally can actually start to reverse. It'll be interesting to observe. Okay. In terms of the um, in terms of the actual uh, market itself, in terms of European markets, let's just quickly look at the end of day stats. The FTSE finishes up 30 points, negates. The uh, bearish argument of uh, the terror concern uh, certainly raised. Uh, markets totally oblivious to that and have neg negated it. The German DAX certainly down 16 points. CAC down, Fred FTSE MIB down, IBEX down as well. And in terms of economic data for the day, uh, we had um, New Zealand exports, uh, imports certainly improving, their trade balance improving as well. Australian data certainly coming in weaker overnight. Japanese coincidence uh, index and leading economic index both coming in more or less in line. Uh, German uh, consumer survey uh, certainly coming in strong. Consumer confidence, sorry, coming in slightly stronger than expected. Uh, the CHF Swiss uh, industrial production certainly coming in weaker. Italian uh, data certainly coming in mixed as well. Uh, of no real, nothing really major. I'm just looking at today here. Uh, nothing uh, that strikes out in terms of the market certainly shifting either direction. Uh, let's just have a look here. Draghi as well, more or less, was on. Uh, well, well, basically, he was towing the same line, uh, arguing that inflation still needs, still tub due to a large extent. Okay, although he did acknowledge certain growth factors. U U.S. housing prices coming in weaker, existing home sales as well weaker. Sorry, house prices came in stronger, but existing home sales came in weaker. Okay, uh, we did have job seekers uh, in France coming in slightly stronger. Uh, crude stocks as well, supporting the uh, bullish argument there. And now it's uh, 60 minutes until the actual FOMC minutes, and we'll see exactly where the FOMC stands. So expect some volatility there. Okay, now in terms of the markets and uh, where, where we stand from a technical perspective, let's just quickly have a look here. Especially given the fact that the market, is, uh, the budget, uh, U.S. budget certainly has been released, and it certainly seems to be dead on arrival. Nobody really uh, paying any respect to it at all. Uh, more like the maths is not adding up at present, and uh, certainly seems like they're projecting the budget based on uh, stronger growth, which really hasn't even transpired or materialized yet. So it's interesting. Okay, looking at the German DAX here, still holding that key 12,700 level, didn't really push higher. Although Merkel has been talking up the potential euro, so bear that in mind. Uh, and obviously going into uh, the FOMC minutes today, a lot of uncertainty there as well. The euro has pulled back from that 1.12 level, given the fact that uh, the uh, two uh, chaps, Constacio, uh, certainly, uh, if I can recollect, Constacio, certainly dovish, and German, and then the uh, German, uh, or should we say the ECB, uh, Mr. Draghi, certainly towing the same line as well. Looking at the DAX at the moment, you can see here we're capped at the uh, 12,660 zone, so certainly looking for weakness on the French, on the German DAX. The French CAC at the moment, let's just bring the daily chart up here. Okay, so still sort of trading sideways, no real conviction here at all. 60 minute chart, we did hit a pivot high of uh, 3, 3, 5, 340. We still have the unfilled gap at 5, 400, so bear that in mind, especially given the fact that the uh, US markets certainly have closed the gap. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's have a look here again. It certainly did spike towards a close back of 7,520. I was expecting it to hold, given the fact that it held 7,512 all day. I was expecting it to hold, but that wasn't the case. We certainly surged towards a close, which is kind of interesting. Okay, uh, again, resistance is at 7520. You've got resistance at 7522 as well. 60 minute chart again, you're still making that lower high at 7520. So, market's certainly subdued, and the daily chart as well. Obviously, double top with the, uh, the shooting star potential hanging man type candle yesterday. So, bias remains bearish. Looking at the euro stocks again, same concept here, holding that uh, fib uh, fib 61% before it actually started to sell off towards the close, certainly indicating weakness. 
10 minute chart puts in a double top uh, yesterday and ever since obviously it's been moving lower so no real conviction in terms of the bulls okay so bear that in mind and certainly haven't pushed the equity markets to new highs okay so that certainly remains a summation uh, we are looking forward to the fomc minutes so again like i said fomc minutes will dictate price action so let's certainly keep uh, an eye on there uh, please be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, be sure to take advantage of the bonus goodbye